Hi guys, it's Ashley from Ashley's Paper Heart, and today I thought we could do a late um, May stationery favorites. I know I am just now getting to film this, and it's already, um, what, June 10th? <laughs> so I'm going to move things aside so we can focus one at a time. So my first favorite is this washi tape. I honestly cannot remember the name of the brand. I know that was probably something I should have thought about. Oops, I tore it. So it's like these forest creatures in really pretty, like almost like folk art style illustrations. I really like this. It's whimsical. It's got kind of a vintage vibe as well. And I just, I really like it. I'm all about the, the forest critters. So in the same like tape um, category, there is this, wa it's not washi tape, it's PET tape, and it's matte with um, these bottles. And I've been using this these a lot. And there are like so many different things that you can do with these. It's like very, very versatile. So I've really enjoyed this. I got this roll from Little Happy Things. I think um, the designer is, the name is spelled L-O-I. I'll try to link, um, I'll put it in the description, the name of the designer. And if I can find it, I'll put the name of the forest animal designer um, of the washi tape there as well. Just in case anyone wants to know. Um, then of course, if you're anywhere in like the journaling or planning community, people love their Tombos. I had been using the Sailor Shikiori pens for a while, but then mine got like frayed. I guess I was really hard on them. So I kind of just been picking up some Tombos here and there. And surprisingly, I like them a lot. I wouldn't say I like them more than the Sailor brush pens, but I do enjoy these. And they seem to be um, a little more resilient to how I use them. So they're definitely a favorite. Moving on, this is the Midori 5-Year, and I picked this up last month. Um, yes, I know, I don't need another journal, but I really like this, um, and I'll tell you why. It's, so, this is just an example. The pages look like this. So you have, like, your main date, and then you'll put the year um, and the day next to it. And so you have this little space to write every day. And I really have enjoyed like just putting like a highlight or just anything, honestly. And because I'm keeping this as like a very private place for my thoughts, I I can put, you know, whatever I want there. And it's really refreshing. And I can't wait. I think the real fun is going to be next year and the following years when I can read what I did on those specific days when I'm writing in them the following year. So I'm a fan and honestly, I just do this like right before bed. It takes like less than five minutes and I'm really enjoying this and I can't wait to fill it up. So I have really been into stamping lately, like a lot. If you've watched my streams on Twitch, I have been um, showing off some of the new stamps that I've been purchasing. So we'll start with this one. This is a larger one. I believe the maker is, um, is it No No Lala or Lala No No? I don't know. I, yeah, I'll try to put that in the description as well. They don't have it printed on the stamp. Sometimes they'll have it printed on the side, like the maker. But I really like this one. It's like a little desk scene. Um, and it has a little sentiment on it. And it's just, it's super cute. And she has a lot of different ones in the same like vein with a little dust scene and a sentiment. And I, I just really like the illustration style. Also in the stamps, I picked up, and this actually does have the maker on the side, Avocado Mori. Um, I picked up a few of these. It was all a set. So they're like little forest animals having, you know, food or whatever in the forest and I think it's really really cute and I've been having a lot of fun um, adding these to my layouts and making like my own little stamped ephemera I don't even know if I have my little thing I know I think I moved it but I I basically will make like little stamped 
pieces and then I'll cut them out so basically I can like paste them into my journals wherever I want. And then these are a game changer for me. I can't remember the brand. I will put that down in the description as well. I was so unprepared for this video. Um, so these are little ink pads and they like fit on your finger. So you can get like super exact inking on your stamps and you can like do gradients and whatnot. And I really like these because they come in sets of four pads and they are all the colors like in the set seem to go really well together. So it kind of takes the guesswork out of like colors that would look nice together. And then they also kind of like nest into each other like this. It did come with like a piece of double sided tape that I believe you can just stick on the side here and um, stick these together. I haven't done that. I've been keeping them in this little tray from um, the container store I got like years and years and years ago. Um, but I've really enjoyed these. These are really fun. So I would highly recommend if you're like into stamping, try these. Um, it's, I'm not sure if it's waterproof ink, but it does dry quickly and it doesn't seem to smudge. So there's hope. <laughs> so now moving on to some of these like little boxes. So I've been really into like letterpress things recently. So this is Oeda letterpress and these are actually stickers. So they have the adhesive on the back. You peel off the backing like any other sticker, but they're just really pretty labels. And I believe these are in the bronze color, but they have different ones in here. Um, and there's quite a bit of them. And I've been using some of these for like um, address labels on letters to my pen pals, just like other little, like these little ones can be great for like collage and you maybe like stamp something in the middle. But these are just so versatile and I've really enjoyed using them. I've used quite a bit of them already. Also in the same vein as like little tiny labels. I got this from a blank note. I don't remember the maker. It might be Mr. Eggplant. But they're these little um, like botanical and like geological um, illustrations on these little tags. And some of them have places where you could write. And the they're definitely like the paper feel, so you could write on these. Um, but they come in like different colors like maybe four or five different colors in each design. And they're really nice. I have really enjoyed using them and they there were a lot in the box, a lot. <laughs> so yeah. And then the last thing, I got my hands on some of the um, Peon, is that Peon? I, I probably butchered that name. It's P-I-O-N. So, I picked up this, I believe there's like 70, 70 something in here, 74, something like that, some weird number. Um, but they're just the, the girl stickers. And I really like the style of this one too. I also love the little Javita ones as well, but right now I'm really into these. I basically like picked up the entire line when um, they got restocked on some of my favorite stationery uh, shops. So yeah. I, I really like these. They're a little bit different than the La Dolce Vita ones and it's just, they're fun. They're fun to use. So yeah, that was a little kind of quick little um, favorites video. And I would love to hear about what you guys are loving, um, what you guys have loved in the last month or even what you're loving this month. I am always down to uh, talk stationary. It's probably one of my favorite topics. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and check out my other socials. It'll be linked in the description and I will see you guys next time. Bye.